Do you stay in your relationship or marriage or do you walk away? That's the dilemma that so many women I speak to have if their relationship is on the verge of a divorce or separation or if their husbands have cheated on them. So in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through four reasons why walking away can actually make you more attractive to him. Now before we dive in, make sure you hit that subscribe button below and click on that bell notification as well so every week you get access to my latest videos where I talk you through a little bit more about how to save your relationship or marriage, what you can do to transform your own self, and really go deep into male psychology as well so you can understand your husband or partner at a much deeper level. Now trying to figure out whether to stay or walk away can be such a difficult question to answer for yourself. You know, on the one hand, you want to make it work. You want to try and give it everything you've got. On the other hand, is there something better out there? Should I be tolerating these sorts of behaviors and so on? So I know it's a really, really difficult one. And I'm very much of the opinion, if you've got the opportunity, try and save your marriage. Try and work on your relationship. I'm a huge advocate for that. However, we've got to understand certain psychological factors that go into this. So what I'm going to explain to you now is a few reasons why actually stepping into your own power and walking away can actually make you more attractive to him. It can actually help you with the process of being able to get him back. Now the first reason why walking away can make you really attractive here is that it will trigger his deepest wounds. You see, as human beings, we want to be loved. We are social creatures. We want to connect with people. And ultimately, we want to feel good enough and we want to feel loved. And this goes for all individuals, not just some individuals. This is a universal thing. And so if you're in a place where you actually then decide within yourself, listen, I'm not going to tolerate this kind of behavior anymore. It's really time that I start making decisions for myself. And I genuinely feel that this decision that I'm going to make in terms of walking away is the right thing for me. What it can actually do is trigger his wounds of feeling inadequate, not feeling loved, and bringing up deep wounds of rejection. And that's why it can actually play on his mind and ultimately leading you to being more attractive in his own mind. I wanna be clear here, when I talk about some of these reasons why it makes you more attractive, I don't want you to initiate walking away as some sort of game or manipulation strategy to try and get him back like that. That is not the intention. What I'm trying to do here is explain to you the psychological reasons why it can make you more attractive, but on the proviso that you're doing it for your own self. You're doing it because it's going to benefit you as a person and elevate you as a person. Because a lot of the time, individuals are stuck in relationships or marriages because you know, they don't want to be alone. They're afraid. They're fearful that if they were to walk away, that you know, they're gonna to have to take care of finances, they're gonna to have to take care of other things in their life, and it, it means that they have to solely rely on themselves. And that can be a really scary place for some people. So that's why it's really important here that your intention is right, your intention is good. It's not being done to just try and lure them back so that you can get what you want and manipulate them on some level. Now the second reason why walking away can make you more attractive is because it puts you into a state of empowerment. You see, so many of the women that I've spoken to over the years, they've often been in relationships or marriages for, for decades sometimes. And what happens is over that period of time, they tend to lose themselves. You know, you go through different stages. You may get, you get married, you have kids, you maybe stop working at different stages. And it can get to a place where you're almost boiling yourself to death because of these small little changes that are going on in your life and where you're potentially focusing on everyone else but your own self. And so a lot of women often tell me that they lose their sense of self. They don't know who they are. They don't feel like they can make decisions at all. And you know, in, in sort of rather difficult cases, you often see situations where some women are being controlled by their man and controlled with every decision that they make not just in terms of lifestyle decisions, but financially and so on. So therefore, what can often happen is when you actually make that decision to walk away, it puts you into a state where you can say, you know what, I'm actually reclaiming my power now. I'm not saying that you say that to him, but what it means is that you're just really taking that back. You're taking that power back and saying, I am in control of my decisions. I run the show in my life. And that's a really, really powerful place to get to. Not just 
in terms of mentally, but also energetically as well. I do believe in spiritual principles, I do believe in energy, and I believe that when we're actually putting that energy out there that we own ourselves, we take our power back, then other people can really start to pick up on that as well. So when you actually reclaim that power, that can sometimes trigger those deeper wounds inside of him as well, where he's feeling like, oh my goodness, like, I'm actually really scared now, I could lose her, I'm really fearful, and that in turn makes you attractive. Now, there are some exceptions to the rule here. In some instances, you're going to see narcissists and sociopaths and so on who react in an even more intense way with this kind of behavior. But even in those circumstances, often the best decision you can make with those people is to walk away. Because if you stay there, if you stay put, it's going to continue to drag you down and make you feel like you are worthless, that you're inadequate, that you're not worthy of love, and so on. And in that reason, I don't want you to have to experience that at all. Now, thirdly, somewhat similar to the first point, it's going to trigger his deepest fears. The first one is opening up wounds that he's already got. This particular point is triggering fears on the inside. Now, those fears might be being alone, not sure if he's going to find someone in the future, the somewhat closing of a chapter in terms of this life that you guys have built together and so on, the potential impact of the family. You know, all of these factors play a part in all of this. So when there is that decision that's being made where you want to walk away, then that in turn will trigger those fears. And as a result of those fears, there's a chance that he may actually want to, to work on it again. He may want to work through those those challenges that you guys have been having for a number of years. And then that can then lead to conversations which can then lead to potential counseling or therapy or getting some assistance on some level so that you can actually work through the past challenges and really create something even better. And then finally, on more of a spiritual level, what you end up doing when you decide to walk away is you take advantage of what we call the law of detachment. Now, the law of detachment essentially states that in order to acquire the very thing that you want, you have to give up your attachment to that particular thing. In other words, you get to a place you say, look, if this happens, wonderful. If it doesn't, I'm going to be okay or something better is going to happen. Now, some people often confuse detachment with just not really caring. Like, yeah, whatever. Now, to me, that's more of getting into a state of apathy. When you actually are in more of a detached place, you know that no matter what, you're going to be okay. Now, look, there are going to be exceptions, and I understand that. But generally speaking, when people step into their power, they're able to have that you know, part of them that goes, I actually know that I'm going to be okay, or I've got the courage to work through this, and I know it's going to be tough, but I'm going to be okay. And there's something magical that happens at that point, that you've, because you've often energetically cut that cord, then that in turn triggers, once again, the fears of the other person that can ultimately make you more attractive in that situation as well. Then he may try and make an effort to, to get you back and so on. But what I always say is that if they do come back, if they do make an effort to want to work on this relationship moving forward, it's got to be built on the right foundations. There's got to be the right behaviors occurring. There has to be a genuine understanding about each other. There's got to be a commitment towards building trust. There's got to be a commitment towards learning about each other. There's got to be a commitment to spending that time with each other to develop both of you individually as well. So these are four reasons why stepping into your own power and then saying, look, I actually am walking away from this marriage or relationship can then in turn have that effect where he's actually more attracted to you as a result of your actions. So I hope this all makes sense. If you've got any questions at all, make sure you write your comments below. And look, if you're in a place where you're stuck in your relationship or marriage, where it's just not going well and it's causing a lot of pain on a daily basis and you're already wanting to get into that place of empowerment, and what I'd encourage you to do is in the description section below, there's a link which just says register for my free masterclass. Now, in that training, what will happen is you're going to learn the three steps that my client, Sarah, use to be able to go through a process of healing and transformation and ultimately to save her marriage as well. She's a remarkable woman, and I know you're going to get a lot from it. So once again, just in the description section below, just click on that link where it says register for the free masterclass. Just enter your details in there. 
and then come along with a pen and paper or whatever and just write plenty of notes and make sure you stick around and watch the entire video so you get lots of information and practical steps on how to move forward. Thanks again for watching this video. If you've liked it, make sure you hit that like button below. If you want to get more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. And do let me know what your biggest takeaway is or if you've got any questions or comments, always love reading them and making sure I reply to all of them as well. And as an extension to this video, if you're wanting to learn the four feminine traits that men find wildly attractive, just click this video above. Thank you so much. God bless and I'll talk to you in the next video.